Do you feel like you don't speak enough Danish? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's your favorite number? After watching this video, you'll be able to say many numbers and ask someone their favorite number. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Det er syv. Once more with the English translation. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? What's your favorite number? Det er syv. It's seven. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what's your favorite number? That's... Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Listen to it again. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Det er... Number. It's number. For example, it's seven. Det er syv. Det er syv. Here are a few more numbers you can use with the same pattern. Seven. Syv. Syv. Two. 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 Four. 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 Nine. 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 Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Det er to. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Det er fire. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Det er ni. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's your favorite number? Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Imagine it's two. Do you remember how to say two? Two. Two. Say, it's two. Det er to. Now answer the question saying, it's two. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Det er to. Now imagine it's four. Do you remember how to say four? Fire. Fire. Say, it's four. Det er fire. Now, answer the question by saying, it's four. Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Det er fire. Now, imagine it's nine. Do you remember how to say nine? Ni. Ni. Say, it's nine. Det er ni. Now, answer the question saying, it's nine. 
Hvad er dit yndlingstal? Det er ni. In this lesson, you learned number-related phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about numbers. You are now able to count like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what kind of movies do you like? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about movies and ask other people about their favorite kinds of movies. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Jeg kan godt lide gyserfilm. Once more with the English translation. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? What kind of movies do you like? Jeg kan godt lide gyserfilm. I like horror movies. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What kind of movies do you like? That's... Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Listen to it again. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? This Danish sentence literally translates as What kind movies can you well like? But it means What kind of movies do you like? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Jeg kan godt lide Type of movie This Danish sentence literally translates as I can well like type of movie But it means I like type of movie. For example, I like horror movies. Jeg kan godt lide gyserfilm. Jeg kan godt lide gyserfilm. Here are a few more kinds of movies you can use with the same pattern to talk about movies. Horror Gyserfilm. Gyserfilm. Comedy. Komediefilm. Komediefilm. Fantasy. Fantasyfilm. Fantasyfilm. Romance. Kærlighedsfilm. Kærlighedsfilm. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Jeg kan godt lide komediefilm. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Jeg kan godt lide fantasyfilm. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Jeg kan godt lide kærlighedsfilm. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what kind of movies do you like? Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Imagine you like comedies. Do you remember how to say, comedy? Komediefilm. Komediefilm. Say, I like comedies. Jeg kan godt lide komediefilm. Now, answer the question saying that you like comedies. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Jeg kan godt lide komediefilm. Now imagine that you like fantasy movies. Do you remember how to say fantasy? Fantasy film. Fantasy film. Say, I like fantasy movies.
Jeg kan godt lide fantasyfilm. Now, answer the question saying you like fantasy movies. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Jeg kan godt lide fantasyfilm. Now imagine you like romantic movies. Do you remember how to say romantic? Kærlighedsfilm. Kærlighedsfilm. Say, I like romantic movies. Jeg kan godt lide kærlighedsfilm. Now answer the question saying you like romantic movies. Hvilken slags film kan du godt lide? Jeg kan godt lide kærlighedsfilm. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about movies. You are now able to talk about types of movies like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what are you doing during the holiday? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about your holiday plans. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your National Holidays PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Jeg planlægger at tage på stranden. Once more with the English translation. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? What are you doing for Easter? Jeg planlægger at tage på stranden. I'm planning to go to the beach. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what are you doing for Easter? That's... Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Listen to it again. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Hvad skal du lave i påsken? This Danish sentence literally translates as, what shall you do in Easter? But it means, what are you doing for Easter? Now. How do you answer this question? The pattern is Jeg planlægger at Plan This Danish sentence literally translates as I plan to plan But it means I'm planning to plan For example I'm planning to go to the beach Jeg planlægger at tage på stranden Jeg planlægger at tage på stranden Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk about your plans. Go to the beach. Tag på stranden. Tag på stranden. Travel. Reise. Reise. Stay home. Blive hjemme. Blive hjemme. Go to the movies. Gå i biografen. Gå i biografen. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Jeg planlægger at rejse. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Jeg planlægger at blive hjemme. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Jeg planlægger at gå i biografen. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what are you doing for Easter? Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Imagine you're planning to travel. Do you remember how to say travel? 
Reise. Reise. Say, I'm planning to travel. Jeg planlægger at rejse. Now, answer the question saying you're planning to travel. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Jeg planlægger at rejse. Now, imagine you're planning to stay home. Do you remember how to say, stay home? Blive hjemme. Blive hjemme. Say, I'm planning to stay home. Jeg planlægger at blive hjemme. Now, answer the question saying you're planning to stay home. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Jeg planlægger at blive hjemme. Now imagine you're planning to go to the movies. Do you remember how to say, go to the movies? Gå i biografen. Gå i biografen. Say, I'm planning to go to the movies. Jeg planlægger at gå i biografen. Now, answer the question saying you're planning to go to the movies. Hvad skal du lave i påsken? Jeg planlægger at gå i biografen. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about your plans. You're now able to talk about your holiday plans like a native speaker. Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. 1. Review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two. Save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking on the phone. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for someone on the phone and to put someone on hold. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hi, I began to help with the Yeah, lead our blick. Once more with the English translation. Hi, I began to help with the Hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Yeah, lead our blick. Okay, just a moment. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say hello on the phone. That's... Hi. Hi. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, I'd like to speak with person. The pattern is... Jeg vil gerne tale med... Person. This Danish sentence literally translates as, I will like speak with person. But it means, I'd like to speak with person. For example, hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Hi, I will gerne tale med den ansvarlige. Hi, I will gerne tale med den ansvarlige. Now, how do you answer this question? Ja, lige et øjeblik. Okay, just a moment. Listen to it again. Ja, lige et øjeblik. Ja, lige et øjeblik. This Danish sentence literally translates as, yes, just a moment. But it means, okay, just a moment. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk on the phone. The person in charge. Den ansvarlige. 
den ansvarlige. A sales representative. En salgsrepræsentant. En salgsrepræsentant. The manager. Chefen. Chefen. Customer service. Kunde service. Kunde service. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Jeg vil gerne tale med en salgsrepræsentant. Ja, lige et øjeblik. Jeg vil gerne tale med chefen. Ja, lige et øjeblik. Jeg vil gerne tale med kundeservice. Ja, lige et øjeblik. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'd like to speak with, person? Jeg vil gerne tale med. Person. And, how do you answer it? Ja, lige et øjeblik. Imagine you want to talk to a sales representative. Do you remember how to say, a sales representative? En salgsrepræsentant. En salgsrepræsentant. Say, I'd like to speak with a sales representative. Jeg vil gerne tale med en salgsrepræsentant. Now say you want to talk to a sales representative and answer it. Jeg vil gerne tale med en salgsrepræsentant. Ja, lige et øjeblik. Now, imagine you want to talk to the manager. Do you remember how to say, the manager? Chefen. Chefen. Say, I'd like to speak with the manager. Jeg vil gerne tale med chefen. Now say you want to talk to the manager and answer it. Jeg vil gerne tale med chefen. Ja, lige et øjeblik. Now imagine you want to talk to customer service. Do you remember how to say customer service? Kunde service. Kunde service. Say, I'd like to speak with customer service. Jeg vil gerne tale med kunde service. Now say you want to talk to customer service and answer it. Jeg vil gerne tale med kunde service. Ja, lige et øjeblik. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk on the phone. You're now able to answer the phone like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking with friends. After watching this video, you'll be able to have a casual conversation with a friend, and to say something is super. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hey, see den bil, man! Wow, den er super fed! Once more with the English translation. Hey, see den bil, man! Hey, look at that car! Wow, den er super fed! Wow, that's super cool! First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, Hey, look at that car! That's... 
Hey, se den bil, mand. Listen to it again. Hey, se den bil, mand. Hey, se den bil, mand. This Danish sentence literally translates as, Hey, look at that car, man. But it means, Hey, look at that car. Now, how do you respond to this? First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, Wow. That's... Wow. Wow. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, That's super adjective. The pattern is... De, den, er super. Adjective. That's super adjective. For example, that's super cool. Den er super fed. Den er super fed. Here are a few more words you can use with the same pattern to talk about something. Cool. Fed. Fed. Fit. Fit. Cool. Fed. Fit. Beautiful. Smuk. Smuk. Smukt. Smukt. Beautiful. Smuk. Smukt. New. Ny. Ny. Nyt. Nyt. New. Ny. Nyt. Nice. God. God. Godt. Godt. Nice. God. Godt. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Hey, se den bil, man. Den er super smuk. Hey, look at that car. Hey, se den bil, man. That's super beautiful. Den er super smuk. Hey, se den bil, man. Den er super ny. Hey, look at that car. Hey, se den bil, man. That's super new. Den er super ny. Hey, se den bil, man. Den er super god. Hey, look at that car. Hey, se den bil, man. That's super nice. Den er super god. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, Hey, look at that car. Hey, see den bil, man. Imagine you want to say something is super beautiful. Do you remember how to say beautiful? Smuk. Smuk. Say, that's super beautiful. Den er super smuk. Now respond using beautiful. Hey, se den bil, man. Den er super smuk. Now imagine you want to say something is super new. Do you remember how to say new? Ny. Ny. Say, that's super new. Den 
Den er super ny. Now respond using new. Hey, se den bil, mand. Den er super ny. Now imagine you want to say something is super nice. Do you remember how to say nice? God. God. Say that's super nice. Den er super god. Now respond using nice. Hey, see den bil, man. Den er super god. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use to talk with friends. You're now able to have a casual conversation like a native speaker.